The Spanish Inquisition lasted from 1478 until 1834 and was a religious movement aiming to rid Spain of both Jews and Moors. The Inquisition was initiated by Queen Isabella and King Ferdinand II of Aragon, who initiated this time of religious persecution. The Inquisition used harsh interrogation techniques, aiming to purify Spain of heretics. The Spanish Inquisition took place in the Iberian Peninsula throughout Spain and emphasized the segregation of religions. During the Inquisition, anti-miscegenation laws made it illegal to intermarry between Jew Christians and conversos, or Jewish converts to Catholicism. The level of religious intolerance stemmed from Jews becoming a threat to the monarchy and the Inquisition serving as a leverage tactic to purge Spain of the Jewish people. Torture chambers were used during the Spanish Inquisition to house victims of the church's wrath, along with various torture devices, including the rack, strapado, and water torture methods. The chambers were windowless and poorly lit to keep the accused isolated from those outside. They were also usually established in populous areas such as cities. The job of the Inquisitor was to force an admission of guilt from the victim in these chambers, as a tribunal was present to hear the victim's confession. The strapado was extremely painful and at the very least it would dislocate many limbs of the victim. This torch was done in three ways. The most simple is tying the victim's arm behind their back with a rope, which was passed through a pulley system hanging the victim by their arm. This method would cause severe pain and dislocate both shoulders simultaneously. Next was a delayed strapado, where they would be released in intervals and then suddenly stopped in midair, adding to the consistent pain and further causing trauma to already dislocated limbs. Lastly, they would add weights to their feet to intensify the pain. This torture would pop shoulders out of sockets, break the shoulders, and have permanent nerve, ligament, and tendon damage. The racks stretched out a person as they were secured aboard a rectangular, typically wooden frame. The interrogated was attached via cuffs to two rollers, one on the hands and the one on the feet. In turn, the contraption was then attached to a wheel which would be cranked, stretching the joints, ligaments, and tendons of the person who was attached. This would often cause paralysis, although it would always dislocate their joints. The rack was also often used in tandem with other methods of torture, such as the removal of toe and fingernails. Like the strapado and the rack, water torture came to be during the Middle Ages, especially as a means to guard confession of suspected heretics during the Inquisition. Application of water torture was simpler than other methods used by inquisitors. The accused would be strapped to a bowl and a cloth placed in their mouth, and then water would be poured over the cloth. This simple yet diabolical torture method would then cause the accused to experience the sensation of drowning. Without a confession, the frequency of water torture would increase, causing damage to the lungs and in many cases death. Due to the sheer agony Witnessing water torture, inquisitors gathered voluntary confessions from the unaccused. Unlike the strapado and the rack, water torture did not fade in its usage over time. It simply transitioned from a tool of religion to a tool of intelligence gathering. Despite its ban by the Geneva Conventions, it has been used by numerous states during the wars of the 20th century to modern day. Placencia was no different to the rest of Spain in terms of the segregation of religious groups during the Inquisition. The once peaceful coexistence of multiple religious factions was no longer feasible. The area had serious disruptions to the traditional intermixing of both Jewish and Christian families, and it was certainly not free of anti-Jewish sentiment. This anti-Jewish sentiment only led to discriminatory actions against conversos as well as Jews. Conversos are once again people who were once Jewish but converted to Catholicism and were thought to be less pure Christians. Placencia 
did not assist in keeping religious affiliations separate due to the vast number of families that would self-select the religious and cultural characteristics they wished to promote, as well as those they attempted to conceal. This alternating affiliation led to an increasing amount of condem condemnation and torture to purify Spain from heretics. For example, the Carvajal Santa Maria family, who were aggressive concealers of their Jewish blood and also successful promoters of their Christian credentials.